Hey everyone! So first of all, uh, very quickly before I start the subject of the video, uh, let me tell you all that I am back in Lithuania, my home country, my hometown Shule, where I used to run my professional Aikido dojo for seven years, where I did the Aikido versus MMA video, pretty much where my martial arts journey started, or the revolution of my martial arts journey. Yet before I came back here from the States, uh, Portland, Oregon, the famous SBG Portland, run under the head coach Matt Portland. Not only that, on my way back to Lithuania, I had a couple of visits to some exciting places but also while I was spending time in USA there's quite a bit of amazing footage that I had a chance to film and quite a few amazing experiences that I had that I just never had enough uh, energy or time to share with you all just because I was training preparing for my fight and yeah I just didn't have a chance so finally now I'm back home I have a bit more time a bit more energy and I finally have a chance to share some of the amazing experiences I had there starting with this one so during their time in the States, I had a chance to visit a few of the States and one of the places I visited was LA. Now when I told uh, coach Matt Thornton, the founder of Straight Blast Gym, that I'm going to LA, he said that his coach, Chris Howder, that he lives there and he has a gym there and he said that he would vouch for me that I could go and train with him. Now one of the reasons why I was super excited is one, I already have such huge respect for Matt Thornton and it's his coach. But aside from that, uh, coach Chris Howder is also a legendary figure in the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu world. First of all, he is one of the so-called Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Dirty Dozen. One of the 12 people in the whole world outside of Brazil to, to be the first ones to receive a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. If that was not enough, he was also numerous times world champion in the IBJJF, which is an amazing achievement. When Coach Hadar said that he will accept me when I come down uh, to participate in one of his classes, I was super excited and I made sure that it happens. Now, one thing that I was looking forward to share is that his gym is probably the coolest gym I have ever seen. It is set up in a garage and to me it was like a museum of cool. I'm personally guessing that it's related to the fact that coach Chris Howder is also a graphic novel artist. The whole gym was packed with amazing art made by himself, also lots of superhero stuff, Star Wars stuff. It's just a really cool place. Yet as cool as that was, this was, this was not the coolest part yet because the most awesome moment on that day was the fact that I had a chance to roll with coach Chris Howder himself. Now to give you a bit of a background, uh, I clearly remember the very first time in my life where I had a chance to roll with a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt and how impressed I was by the skill set of that person and how great his power was. While that memory will stick with me forever, uh, when eventually I went to train in SBG Portland, there were quite a few black belts there and really high quality black belts and I had a chance to roll with them quite, quite frequently and so rolling with black, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts started to become a normal thing. Not to say that I did any good uh, with them, obviously they were destroying me all the time, but it just became part of the norm to, to, have, a, to have a chance to roll with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts. Yet, rolling with Coach Chris Hatter was an experience on a new level. To be clear, while I was at SBG Porton, I did not have a chance to roll with head coach Matt Thornton. So the highest black belts that I rolled were second degree black belts, which is already a lot, uh, but still, it was not yet at the level of Coach Chris Hatter and the difference was evident. So as Coach Chris Howder started rolling with me, as he worked his way towards tapping me out, he explained to me that he will introduce a few different styles of rolling as, as the roll happened. I was most taken aback by the first style of rolling where he had complete control of me. I could not even move a muscle as he was holding his position and he was slowly working his way up towards the tap. Honestly, I never felt as helpless as I felt in that moment. Being in that situation, it reminded me of something that I thought a lot of times while I was practicing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And that is what tremendous power Brazilian Jiu Jitsu experts have over you when you roll with them. The knowledge and skill set that they possess literally is deadly. They could kill you at any, any given second that they would choose to, and you could not do anything about it. That is how powerful that power is. Despite of that fact, many of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts that I met, including coach Chris Howder, they have such a, such a wonderful humility and they give you the chance to still try things out and they give you the chance to evolve and develop. And oftentimes you don't see any pride uh, in them personally that they would have over having that power against you. While they have this huge power against you, they don't walk around Know, putting it into your face, but rather they, they maintain a humble aspect where they don't seem to think much about themselves and they act with you as an equal, which I find is amazing. On the opposite end, in the realm of traditional martial arts, 
I've met quite a few uh, traditional martial arts masters who have a high rank and their skill set is questionable, you know, they, they spend a lot of time training it, etc. But oftentimes there would be an equal arrogance with it. But here, uh, the balance between power and humility, it's, it's just mind-blowing for me. And these aspects which I described right now were as evident as ever rolling with coach Chris Howder. To continue the story, after he tapped me out the first time, he, he explained to me that the second time he will roll with me in a way which was as Aikido as Jiu Jitsu can get, just this time being functional or kind of like what Aikido would be if it would be actually effective. This way was much more fluid and much more responsive to what I did. And again, while I felt I had more space to move around, I felt like Coach Howder had such a huge hand over me and whatever I did, that was, that was only actually improving his position, which again was super impressive. By the end of the whole role, it was very easy for me to remember why I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and why I consider it to be a, such a wonderful practice. To be able to balance such power and humility at the same time, I find it to be really a miraculous thing. And through such meetings as, as I had this chance to meet Coach Chris Howder, that just reminds one of how wonderful of a path this practice can build and that it is possible for us to achieve that power and humility as well if we pursue on this path for a long enough time. I find it that to be reminded of this is a huge and amazing gift. Sharing this story, I hope that this story inspires you as much as it inspired me. Also to let you know what comes next is I actually had a chance to sit down with Coach Chris Howder and we had a bit of a recorded chat which I will release next week uh, to accompany this video. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a, a really fun talk. I also had a lot of other footage filmed while I was in the States. Just again, never had a chance to release. So stay tuned for that. Lots of cool content is coming out now that I have a chance to work on it and release it. And obviously as I spend my time in Lithuania, I'm going to continue filming my journey here and there are some amazing twists to my journey which I am still yet to, uh, to reveal but trust me it's going to be quite a blast. Last but not least one of those amazing things is uh, that I wanted to introduce to you is that I had a chance to spend some time with uh, coach John Kavanagh, the head coach of SBG Ireland, a very famous, very well-known MMA coach, and I had the chance to film him and uh, help him create a series, a YouTube series, for his channel called Win or Learn. The first episode is out, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, coach John Kavanagh talks about cornering and the wisdom that he shares is really quite exceptional. So. If you want to take a look at that, I'll leave all the links in the description. Again, I highly recommend it. Aside from all of that, as always, thank you for sticking to the end. As always, I wish you to own your journey and I will see you in the next video.